Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review and sound file on the Tim Brown's Real Thing Goose Call. Uh, right now it's probably one of my favorite goose calls on my lanyard. Um, I'm blowing it with a Super Mag and a G-Force right now, but that G-Force is getting replaced with a Super Thang here soon, so I will do a video on that call super soon as well. But I've had this call for a little while now, so I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a rundown of it, on um, what I think of it. Um, so far, I've worked birds with it really, really good. It's a super, super, super good range from high to low. I um, mean, it can get really, really loud and high pitch, but you can also get down and dirty to finish birds in your decoys, which is obviously what you need in the call. So I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm just going to go right ahead and start running down the sound file for it. <laughs> So right there, I think that's a pretty decent um, showcase of the range of this call. I mean, super, super fast on the high end and the low end. I mean, you can get down and do those mumbles if you need to. Well, obviously, you do need to when you're working birds, but it can, it can get really high pitched, too. To get those birds further out and for lessers, and also on windy days, um, you can definitely... Get the, you can definitely get the bird's attention from a little bit further using this call than you could with, say, a deeper call such as a Super Mag or the Pro Super Mag or a wood call. Um, this call is in acrylic. Um, my buddy has one in wood. Sounds great as well. But I just chose to go with the acrylic option just because I think it's a little bit more responsive. Um, doesn't have a shaved reed. It has a triple crown gut system in it, but the reed is not shaved. If I can get it out here. Here we go. Um, so right there's if it'll focus. No. Okay, right there. There we go. So right there's the reed. Um, the tip is bent a little bit. Bent up, you can see right there. Um, that just makes the call even more responsive. Um, super short. I think it's like four and a half inches in total. So, super short, responsive call. Great low to high. Would definitely recommend it for you guys that have lessers around your area. Um, if you want a true, true lesser call, look at the Cackler. Get Call Hunter at Grounds um, and get it tuned as a lesser call. It, they, it's listed as a cackler bug. You can call and get it tuned as lessers if you'd like because obviously cacklers and lessers are two different geese. Um, some people could argue that they sound pretty similar, but a true clack cackler versus a true lesser sound way different. So yeah, um, I think that's going to be basically it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and liked the sound file of this call. Um, let me know if you guys want to hear some more of it. And any other call, let me know if you guys want to hear. Um, shout, shout out to Avian Culture. Um, helped me out a lot. Drake Waterfowl helped me out a lot. Rig them right, help me out. Um, they sent us a couple shirts here. Um, obviously, grounds calls, hands down, my favorite calls on the market. They're probably, they're, no, they are the most proven brand in the stage and on the field. So if you're looking for a new goose call, go ahead and check out Tim Brown's Championship Calls website. 